Saturday afternoons in the 70s watching the wrestling on TV. While for one man the enjoyment has never lost its hold, we sent former wrestling baddie Mick McManus to see a knockout collection. The winner of this bout will be decided by two falls, two submissions or a knockout. From the mid-60s until the 80s, British wrestling was one of television's major assets and, of course, one of their great attractions. Over 7 million people used to tune in on Saturdays to watch such men as Giant Haystacks, uh, Kendo Nagasaki, Big Daddy. These fellows were household names and uh, quite a lot of them, of course, were uh, national celebrities. Fans came from all walks of life, a real cross-section of uh, British society. And of course, some of the ladies used to get carried away at times and uh, attack one or two wrestlers like myself uh, with handbags, umbrellas, and shoes, or anything which came to hand. But they all had one thing in common. They were real grappling fans. They loved their wrestling. For one of these fans, the appeal of the Boston Crab, the full Nelson, has never left him. I've been interested in wrestling all my life, as from a, well, from as, uh, as early as I can remember. And I've always enjoyed it from being a small child. So I used to run to the top of the street and see the posters there and watch it on Welder Sport. My granddad used to tell me about it and all the characters. And I've just always liked it. I liked the theatre of it and the, the atmosphere. The entertainers in the ring, they could work the crowd and lift them up and bring them back down and make them angry, make them laugh, make them cry. And just everything about it, just thoroughly entertaining. Right, now, this is one for you. Who are your favourite wrestlers? Well, I've got too many to mention, really, but, say, Mick McMahon is the man, the, the man they love to hate. Yeah. He, uh, didn't, I didn't mind him, he was OK. Uh, Dynamite Kid, Marty Jones, Fit Finlay, fantastic wrestler, Kendo Nakasaki. Any, anybody that had athletic ability and charisma wrapped into one I used to like. And I, I preferred the bad guys, really, because you got the better atmosphere. If you could get the crowd going, I preferred them. I feel guilty for leaving some out, but you can't mention them all. Amongst all this lot, uh, have you got any favourites? This is worth about £75. It's uh, Bruno Sammartino defending his oh, title against yeah. Pedro yeah, the Morales. Italian, yeah, yeah. And that went to a curfew draw. Yeah. And that's very rare. I say that's worth about £75, but yeah, uh, you, yeah. can't, you can't buy that anywhere. I'm, I'm so impressed with some of these, the, these names, which well, I haven't really forgotten in that sense, but it's nice to have them brought back to, uh, like, Cat Weasel. I remember the Cat Weasel, who unfortunately is not with us anymore. And, um, you know what his name was, Cat Weasel? It was Gary Cooper. Gary Cooper, right? <laughs> You're absolutely right. And I'll tell you what, he's nearly as tall as Gary Cooper. Yeah. Well. He, was, he was about six foot three, I think, six foot four. He was enormous, really. What made it so popular, as far as you was concerned? Well, I think it was like a soap opera with blood, sweat and tears. It had everything for everybody. For the women, it had the physiques and that, and it just general entertainment. When I used to go, the, the fantastic atmospheres there, you know, when the the heels and the heroes, and it was all about you know getting there, uh, cheered and booed, and nobody was booed more than you. You got your yeah, job was to be booed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my first year, I must admit, even the uh, the upper classes used to go. I mean, you had you had your colonels from Tunbridge Wells and Harrogate and Cheltenham and all this, and, and your politicians that used to go. Even Prince Philip went a few times, and uh, and the Duke of Kent. So if it's good enough for them, it's can't be can't be bad, can it? Let's face it. What people don't realise nowadays, with it being off telly for so long, how incredibly popular for quite a long spell of time there was. I mean, I've got uh, annuals like with Big Daddy in a cartoon strip, and there was really mainstream, and there was just so fantastically popular, say, especially in the late 60s and the 70s. And um, say it's all gone away now. It was on the television for 33 years, which is. A long time, a long it is. time. Nothing lasts forever. No, no. Nothing lasts forever. Today's brought back a lot of memories, and uh, I'm thinking of making a comeback. I think I'll start with you. Arr.